What started with the death of George Floyd in police custody has become a global outcry for racial equality. And that outcry has already changed policing, culture, and affected nearly every aspect of American life. These four numbers show the extent of the change underway because of the protests. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been charged by the Hennepin County Attorney's Office with murder and with manslaughter. Within four days of George Floyd's death, this cop was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. The other three officers who were on the scene have also been charged. That's the fastest charges have been brought against any officer in Minneapolis, and it's a rarity nationwide. A recent analysis found that 99% of killings by police from 2014 to 2019 did not result in a conviction or charge. In the weeks that have followed, police reform has been introduced at all levels of government. Minneapolis wants to cut funding to its police department, New York repealed a law that locked down police complaint records. Yo, stop talking to bro. In other cities, stop officials have banned chokeholds and carrying out warrants without notice, while a number of school districts have ended their security contracts with police. In the nation's capital, both Democrats and Republicans have proposed national reforms. An executive order from President Trump will set up a national database to track police misconduct and incentivize departments to follow best practices with federal grants. The U.S. has tried to tackle police reform in the past, but it's never happened this quickly. Almost immediately following Floyd's death, protests erupted across the U.S. in all 50 states and in more than 2,000 cities. Then they took off around the globe too, igniting discussions on racism and colonialism in more than 60 countries. This time around is different. People are fed up. Most protests have been peaceful, but some have turned violent. Police have used more rubber bullets, tear gas, and flash grenades than in past years, and reports, as well as video, show excessive use of force against protesters. 250 million. That's the amount of money the NFL has vowed to donate over the next 10 years to, quote, end systemic racism. That's right, the NFL, who in 2017 condemned a player who protested against oppression towards black Americans during the national anthem. That's just one example of how change has touched nearly every aspect of our lives, from social media campaigns to the brands we use and even the big screen. Like this show, which had been on the air since 1989. Now it's gone. Gone with the Wind is gone too, for now, and will return with an introduction explaining the historical context. And this Grammy winning group, they changed their name to Lady A. And NASCAR will no longer use the Confederate flag, which represents the group of Southern states that fought to keep slavery and sparked the Civil War. Speaking of the Confederacy, 1,500 pounds. That's how much this Confederate statue of Johnny Reb in Virginia weighed before it was taken down. Throughout the U.S., statues like this one have been vandalized or removed, in some cases by protesters themselves. It's not just the Confederacy or just the United States. It's King Leopold II statues in Belgium. In London, this statue of Winston Churchill had to be boarded up to avoid damage. The movement hasn't and won't stop here. There will be more investigations and policies in the months to come, as well as a presidential election amid a pandemic that's also highlighted America's inequalities. But marchers have delivered a clear message in the 30 days since George Floyd was killed. Change how America treats black people and do it now.